Hey y'all, I'm Double Lord Angel. Welcome to my channel. In this week's speedrun video, I made a Warhammer 40,000 fan art picture. Now, this was a client work of mine where my client wanted the most top tier of all my work. So I put a lot of effort to this one. And today's artwork, we're gonna make so-called Space Marines versus alien bug creatures called Tyranid or Xenos. I am Captain Arises, honor guard of the Ultramarines and merger of the Tyranid Xenos. Only I, my honor squad, and the two dreadnoughts, Marius and Severus, went down to this filth of a planet to clean up and get rid of this world Xenos scum. But it was an ambush. And a quick go through what Warhammer is. So, Games Workshop is this miniature tabletop gaming company from the UK. And they have made up this world of fantasy and sci-fi. And Warhammer 40,000 is a sci-fi part of it. Warhammer 40k is all about sci-fi, futuristic, chaotic battles and war and such. So yeah, no joy in this one. Anyway, guys likes this, girls, well, I don't know. But I hope you enjoy this artwork still. In this artwork, it took me over four hours making the background only. So I decided that this week's speed art video will be divided in two. You guys can check out the time stamps in the description. The first part is only the background and the second part is then all the space marines, aliens, war and battle and so on. Finishing off the artwork. Anyway, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and ring that bell for future videos. I put a lot of effort to this one. It took me almost 14 hours to make, but you guys get to watch it in 14 minutes. So, watch the video till the end and let's begin. Hold here, we stand against the darkness together. Fear not, brothers! We shall not falter in the face of fear. Cleanse, purge, kill! So guys, like I said, everything in this was custom made. So yeah, the background took me four hours to make. And when I make these kind of backgrounds that I actually think that become pretty good also, if I say so myself, I will make them a separate stock image that I will later put out in a bundle of mine. This will happen probably in a year or so. Anyway, I started to build this world of aliens after reading the lore and using sulfuric plains and foggy beaches. I started to build this base and Tyranids are a hive mind and they are mindless killers just don't have any feelings or anything they attack and they work as one a little like last of us fungus is working in the that tv series so if you attack one the rest knows this story was a story that i read from my client's work and it's a fan fiction codex Codex in this case means that uh, it's a fill-in that players can make for their own stories and battles in Warhammer. Anyway, I just wanted to inform that I made every single piece in this picture from scratch, but I didn't film it all because I wanted to spare you guys from me making vector images of the Ultramarines logo and so on 
and building together these guys I, I only added in some of the process that I made making these custom ultramarines. By the way guys, if you like the background that I just made, you can find these elements, most of them on, on Envato Elements. Use my code Double Art Angel for the subscription. Also, if this background music fancies you, I have a link in the description to my Epidemic Sound subscription affiliate link, where you can find all these and lot and lots of more music. So yeah. So I found the base 3D models that I then made changes in dimensions and blender afterwards on this site called Sketchfab and you find really nice models over there. My experience in blender is limited to only making models so I couldn't do much so I worked pretty much with the quite original ones. And the aliens tyrannid that they are called Hive Mind from the Hive Fleet of Leviathan were also made based on the alien movie 3D models. So Alien Queen and Alien Warrior I guess. And from them I tried to make these. And they are called Dimacheron or however you pronounce that. And Hormagaunt the ones that I tried to make. And then we had this gene stealer also. Well, I decided to use one of them because that was a quite known model for this alien species, for those who knows this 40K. Anyway, I wanted this to look as gnarly and slimy as possible, so I l used a lot of bone marrow as the texture and also meat as the texture. Not blood, because it, it was supposed to look slimy, but not... Uh, not gory so all these references are taken from games workshops concept art that they have online and I just tried to make these custom tyrannids I will also make these PNGs or they are actually PNGs but I will add them to my shop where people can buy them I won't give them for free because first of all I paid for the 3d models licensing and second of all it took me long over two hours to make these so anyway if someone wants to run it models i will have them for you later on yep 
using this brush from ArtStation that is called Slime. I highly recommend it if you want to make something gnarly because it's a life savior and it makes things so much easier. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed making it the final result after all and uh, I thank you for watching remember to like this video subscribe for more videos to come and I catch you in the next one
Come!